We're on the campus of Linfield College, a small school with expansive borders. Linfield is one of the top 25 schools in the nation for student participation in study abroad programs. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, everyone. I'm Ken Ackerman. We're in the Gerald R. Nicholson Library here on the campus of Linfield. Well, if you have young kids and are wondering what to do with them after school, we have an idea for you. Please welcome Janet Adams, who is the program manager of Kids on the Block. Thank you. Janet, thanks for being here. Thank you. Now, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of parents worry. What am I going to do with my kids after school? I'm mm -hmm. working. Do I have to get babysitters? But, boy, around here you have a great uh, opportunity for young children. We do. We have the Kids on the Block After School Enrichment Program, which takes place at all six of our local elementary schools. It's for first through fifth graders. It's from 2.30 to 5.30 every day after school. And it's a great opportunity to not only th for the kids to be safe after school, but to have a lot of fun and learn along the way. Now you say they, they can have fun, they can learn. Give me an idea of, of what a child does when they walk in at 2.30. Sure. The, the program starts out with, with Power Hour at 2.30. It's a chance for them to uh, do their homework with the support of school staff and college students. Um, it's a time for, for school staff to do targeted interventions with students who might need a little extra academic help. Um, and then at 3.30, they transition into the recreation enrichment side of the, the program where we have sports, and arts and crafts, wide variety of special guests and, and assemblies uh, for the kids to enjoy and learn from. Now, is there, uh, among the participants, the demographics, is, is there an income spectrum? Um, it, really, everybody is, is welcome. Um, there is a fee to the program, but if children qualify for free or reduced lunch, there's a discount. And if they need financial assistance, then luckily we have a very substantial scholarship program. Money should not ever be a, a reason that, that kids can't have a safe place to be after school. The kids on the block, what do you have to spend per child per year? The, the, cost, the actual cost of the program is close to $1,000 per child for the, the full school year. But the program actually only costs parents about 450, and then there are discounts on top of that if they need extra assistance. And how do you make up the difference between the 450 and the thousand? Great question. We have a fantastic partnership between the school district, the city of McMinnville, and KOB Inc. Kids on the Block Inc., which is our like our booster club or a nonprofit part of the program. Uh, the school district and the city each contribute significantly to the program. And then Kids on the Block Inc. does fundraisers and requests sponsorships from local community members and businesses to make up that difference so that no child is, mm -hmm. is left out. How many participants do you have? Over 800. Over 800 in just the, the six schools? Just the six schools of, of the McMinnville area. Mm -hmm. When you talk about KOB Inc., tell me what it's comprised of. Community leaders? We do have a, a lot of community leaders. Our founder, Dale Tomlinson, uh, was a Linfield College professor, actually, and he started the program about 20 years ago by bringing community leaders, bankers, lawyers, um, all sorts of folks in the community together to, to say this is a, a need for our community to have safe places for kids to go after school. Business leaders recognized the same thing. They knew that their employees needed to be able to count on mm -hmm. safe after school care for their kids. And so really the whole community rallied around this project. Um, and without all of the partners, we, we just couldn't do it. And you say they fundraise. How do they, how do they raise funds for this? Our biggest fundraiser is the Mayor's Charity Ball mm -hmm. every February. It is a, a grand event with music and dancing and, and dining and um, a different theme every year. Mm -hmm. and it's the, I've been it, there. You I've have? There. Oh, oh it's, good. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, when, when you talk about an enrichment program like mm -hmm. this, a lot of people wonder, do I have a Kids in the Block in my community? Where should they look for programs such as this? I would start with, with the Parks and Recreation Department and the school district. Um, hopefully they have a, a partnership going. Um, if not at the school, then perhaps at the Parks and Recreation Department. Um, and if not, then it is something that communities can start. It takes a champion in mm -hmm. the community like Dale Tomlinson to see the need and rally people together um, to figure out how are we going to fund something that's just incredibly important for kids. All right, Janet Adams, thank you very much. Program Manager, Kids on the Block After School Enrichment Program. And we thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. For the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.